So, uh, yeah, uh, this is a video explaining the Twitch situation, as I'm gonna call it. Uh, I don't really have a better term, I guess. Twitch suspension might be a better term, I don't know. But basically, the uh, point of this video is to, first of all, explain what happened, and then, I don't know, maybe it's like sort of an effort to, maybe if some kind of Twitch personnel sees this, he could like uh, pull the magic switch and get me unbanned. Till the that's what happened. Uh, explanation is, seems to be somewhat unjust, at least I think it is. So, what happened is that I was playing Daisy Standalone Experimental Patch, you know, just playing Daisy, playing on a Daisy game, I was having a great time. Some guy combat logged on me, and he. I stole the weapon off of his old body, which I killed, and he spawned back in, even though I killed him, and then he shot me before I could pull out my weapon, which was his weapon. So, yeah. Anyways, that was cool, so sometime later, you know, I switched servers a couple of times, and, uh, yeah, so I had, like, the, I had, like, the login timer, because that's a thing in experimental, you can actually have a long enough timer, which is long enough five minutes, I think the world's around seven minutes, so, you know, I had a seven minute break, couldn't play DayZ at that point, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna play Tetris, but the Tetris controls on that browser game suck dick, so then I was like, okay, I'm gonna play, like, a, like one of those interactive zombie games, kind of fits the DayZ theme, so... I was like, okay, let's go play that. So uh, I found this game. It's called The Outbreak, I think. It's like one of those interactive, like, story zombie games, you know, which you can play in a browser. Normally they're kind of like text based, like choose A or B, save bill or kill bill. Something like that, you know. And pretty much any other choice than the right one gets you killed and then you can retry it, you know. Choose your own adventure. Kind of like the Walking Dead game, but uh, this particular game didn't have any text. It it had like live action, like like kind of like the Walking Dead style, like like the the, the series. So it, it would like play like like a like a segment, like a movie kind of segment, and then it was like make your choice, either get this guy killed or don't kill him. So I was playing that for a good four minutes or so, and next thing I know, uh, my my stream isn't working. OBS is complaining to me, couldn't do anything, and uh, yeah, apparently my channel got suspended for that. Uh, now I don't exactly know what happened, like, I was assumed, because if you get a suspended, you, you, you're not given a complete reason. It just says whenever you try and access Twitch, like, your channel got suspended, click here, and then you get, like, a list of possible reasons for community violations, I think the naming is. So what I could think of is, like, non-gaming content, like, watching segments of movies or series. Seems to kind of fall in line with that, even though it was technically a game, a game book, I think the technical term is. I'm going to look this up on Wikipedia real quickly. Um, let's see. Game book. Pretty sure that's the terminology for it. It's like uh, choice based. Yeah, game book. That's the Wikipedia term. So that's technically still a game. Uh, <clears throat> so I think that's the reason why I got banned. I think it got misinterpreted for like being an actual movie slash series, even though it's technically a game. Then another reason I could think of is that uh, copyright claim. But like honestly, like does anyone in the outbreak care about the kind? It's, it's like subpar acting. It's like not Hollywood style. To say the least bit. I mean, the CGI was pretty awful. Acting was kind of like uh, like subpar. So, the outbreak. Yeah. So, www.survivetheoutbreak.com. It was a pretty epic game. You know, you can play it now. Currently, you can just search that. The outbreak. Pretty cool game. Not really. I, I followed Seth's plan, and he drove me straight into a tree, and I died. Uh, but that aside, it's, uh. I don't think the copyright on that is just a, such a big deal. Like, I, I see plenty of streamers playing music during their streams. I think the copyright on that is a lot more serious than this particular game. So the only thing, the only logical thing I could think of is that it's like some kind of Twitch moderator saw my t t Twitch stream and thought I was like streaming a movie or something. That, which brings me on to the next question is, how is this regulated? Like... Is it an automated process? I can't imagine it being that. So it's like moderator base? I don't know. Furthermore, like no warning at all was given. It was just bam, snap, your channel's gone. And uh, you can send us an email, 
we like I kind of like explain your situation and then I got like an automated response to that which had me feel an ban appeal which I did and I'm currently awaiting that I have no idea what the waiting period for that is so we're currently just waiting on that I don't know how good Twitch's quote unquote customer support is I, I am hoping for like a reply within a month but it is entirely possible that I, I A never get a reply or B it just gets rejected so yeah I, I, I kinda think this is a load of BS but yeah that might just be me you know I trying to stream Daisy Experimental Patch and uh, bam next thing I know channel suspended uh, furthermore, see, I don't agree with that because, uh, like, no warning was given, nor any proper, like, email telling me why I got suspended, so it seems Sony just pulled the magic uh, red switch and uh, banned my channel, which is uh, kind of meh. But furthermore, on top of that, it seems to be an IP ban because I cannot create a new channel. Like, it is really an IP ban. Like, in a ban, people even give you, uh, have you fill out your IP address, so it's definitely an IP ban, but, uh,. <laughs> I can't really do anything on Twitch, like, I, I follow a few people on Twitch where I pop into the streams every now and again, I'm a moderator on a few channels as well, uh, can't do any of that, I can't chat, uh, I can access streams though, but, like, I don't get the email notifications telling me anyone is streaming, I can't do anything, I can't comment, of course, because I can't log into my profile, can't create a second channel, because it's an IP ban, so... Conclusion of this is that A, I think it's unjust, B, it's, it's rather annoying, and C, I, I think it's uh, a bit harsh giving you no warning for any of that, so, yeah. I guess this was my ramble. I kept it at around 7 minutes, but yeah. I don't know. I, I, we're gonna await the response. If I don't get anything with it two months, I'm, I'm gonna assume it's never gonna happen. Unless somebody that works at Twitch sees this video is able to uh, reverse the magic red switch at Twitch HQ, but uh, yeah, that's the Twitch situation, so alternatives would be YouTube live streaming, but uh, yeah, last I tried that didn't work so well. Twitch is uh, probably the best platform for live streaming at the moment, and uh, yeah, it's not going to be awfully great if I'm banned off of Twitch, so uh, that's the situation, we'll see what happens.